Kevin Keepers, hashtag NBA, could Dallas trade for LaMarcus Aldridge or sign him if he gets bought out? Now, LaMarcus Aldridge rumors have been circulating because uh, the Spurs are looking to trade him. Obviously, the trade deadline is going to come and go on March 25th, so a buyout could happen. Not a lot of chatter around Dallas with LMA, but I do think they would at least explore it if he does get bought out. I don't think a trade's very likely here. Don't think a trade is very likely. This is what we do know. If he has to go from San Antonio to Dallas, he gets to stay in state, no state income tax, and he doesn't have to move his things very far. True. As far as a fit, I think LaMarcus Aldridge could fit in well with the Mavericks. Yeah, I think he could be, you know, think of Mari Stoudemire a few years ago when they brought him in to be a 15 to 18 minutes off the bench high volume score type. I think there's value there. He could play, be a part of that second unit led by Jalen Brunson as yep. he's been great. Uh, I'm intrigued, but don't look for a trade there. I think it would have to be a buyout scenario. So where will Aldridge play next? Because he's leaving San Antonio, whether it's via trade or buyout. So predict it for us. Will it be a team like Dallas? Could the Lakers make some sense? Where will LaMarcus Aldridge play next? Go ahead and get your votes in. Ezra Valdez, who and what would trade for Porzingis? Hashtag Mavs Now Podcast. I'll have to check that one out. Um, I don't think he gets traded. He's starting to play a lot better. Yes. I, I think if you're Dallas, you have to give yourself every opportunity to see what him and Luka can do together, right? Yes, no doubt. And I think that those two have shown signs of growth. Unfortunately, that growth has been stunted because Porzingis continues to have that injury his issue yeah. and history, which I think is somewhat problematic. But I actually don't think Porzingis gets dealt a couple weeks ago. The answer to that question might have been different, but he's starting to play really well. And if you yeah. think back to last year, leading up to the bubble, Prior to the pandemic hitting, really I was well. really impressed with Porzingis, and I actually think he's getting back to that level. So I think it's worth it for the Mavericks to keep on to him. A Mavs trade for Buddy Heald, Zach Levine, or Alonzo Ball. How about we power rank those in terms of fit for Dallas? Who would you – obviously, Levine number one, I think. Well, Levine at number one because he's the best player, but I'll put him third because Dallas doesn't have the assets to give up to yeah. bring in Zach Levine unless they just give up 10 first-round picks over the next 20 years, <laughs> which I don't think is going to happen. I do potentially like Lonzo Ball's a fit, but I don't think he goes there because the Dallas Mavericks are really high on Jalen Brunson, ball rightfully so. Yes, he's ball dominant, but Jalen Brunson has really played well out of Villanova. Yep. Buddy Heald is a guy – that you and I, Harrison, are keeping our eyes on as a potential target for the Mavericks. And I think Brian Ruiz might have been in the office with us when we were drumming up some of these trade Ooh, ideas. That's a tease was. looking ahead here. Jamie Sapo is what I'll call you. With Lakers, Nets interested in Drummond, should the Mavs trade for him? And what would it take? I'm not trading for Drummond if I'm Dallas. Me either. I don't think they can afford to take on the salary either. And it's but not worth giving up a piece when you're the ace. No, but as a potential buyout candidate, yes. I'm not sure the Cavaliers are going to be able to trade Drummond. I think his salary is somewhere in the neighborhood of $25 million, yep. a very, very hefty price tag. So Cleveland's cr kind of screwed. They'd, of course, love to get assets back for a guy who can give you 17 and 10 on a title contender. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Mavs are a team that's going to be a suitor for Drummond, though. Shout out your favorite player in the comment section. I will say, speaking of LaMelo, he's becoming one of my favorite players to watch. He's damn fun to watch. I'm still, uh, I'll still go with Luka because I'm a Mavs fan, but uh, man, LaMelo Ball has been much see, must see TV this year. Joel Embiid? Yeah. Um, Sixers fan? Yeah, Embiid, I guess. <laughs> if we're talking all time. Yeah, Alan, that's a different story. Allen Iverson. Allen oh, okay. Iverson's my guy. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but right now, yeah, LeBron, Embiid. Okay. Well, maybe your favorite player has a jersey available. I promise you he pro we probably do have one available at chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. Get a brand new jersey today at chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. We'll put this link in the comments. We'll put it in the description. We got all kinds of jerseys. Some of the alternate ones. Look at that Embiid alternate there. That's fresh. That's a, that's a good looking one right there. Chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. We got the alternate ones, the home, the aways, the city editions. Tons of different styles available at that link on screen. We'll put it in the comments. We'll put it in the description. Just click and shop today. It's chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. All of your favorite players on all of your favorite teams. So take advantage of this Jersey deal.
Rashard Lee with the P.J. Tucker to the Mavs question. Uh, I'd explore it. This is the type of move I could see Dallas making, kind of a lower tier type of trade. Maybe a, you know, like a, I don't know, you could dump. Who's one of their younger players that could make sense? Maybe like Tyrell Terry and a second for P.J. Tucker something or like something that. like that. I don't think you give up a lot, but trying to make the playoffs, get a veteran defender in there, I don't think it's the worst idea ever. Ezra, if you were the Mavs, would you draft Greg Brown from Texas? I've watched him a few times this year. Athletic guy, five-star recruit. I think he should go back to college for another year. He's still a little bit raw, but we've seen Texas prospects in the past who kind of don't play that well in college, but then they're great in the NBA. Miles Turner was not good at all at Texas, and then he's been pretty solid in the NBA. Maybe he becomes one of those type of players. Uh, you know, uh, you don't have your first-round pick, so it's going to be tough to draft him. These are our four NBA channels outside of our main channel, of course. The Lakers report is kicking the rest of these teams' ass. YouTube.com slash Lakers TV. We have a Warriors channel. YouTube.com slash Warriors TV. Mavs, Celtics. The point is, if you're a fan of one of these teams, go subscribe. All the links are popping up on screen. We'll make sure they're in the description as well. Those channels are growing every single day. You Lakers and Warriors fans recently, by the way, y'all have been showing out. So if you're a Mavs or Celtics fan, get to work because the Lakers and Warriors are running the show right now. Go subscribe to our team channels and hey, you never know, we might expand in the future. Kenny, what would Luka have to do in the second half of the season to be considered for MVP? 30-point triple-double, probably, on average. And the Mavs have to move into the top four in the West. I, I think you've got to win a ton, and he's got to be the reason why. And he's been unbelievable, but you got to win more than you have been. They've started to play better, but it would take something historic for him to win MVP. Historic. And what, prior to the All-Star break, they were like 8-2? 1-8 out of 10. Right? 1-8 yep. out of 10. And he was a big reason, of course, for that. you get to the that. four seed, I mean, there's not a ton of gap there. Maybe it's yeah. possible. Doncic is going to be in the MVP conversation for several years yeah. now, as long as he Ten, stays healthy. Years, yeah. What does he have to do to win it? Yeah, Harrison mentioned it, like a 30-point triple-double. If we didn't get to your questions, well, you can tweet at us. Follow Chase at Chase underscore senior. You can follow me at HGram NFL. Don't freak out about the NFL. I do a lot of NBA stuff over there as well. Send us your trade ideas. Send us your questions. My DMs are always open. Chase's are as well. We love to interact with you guys on the show, but also we can't answer every question live, so we'll answer your questions on Twitter as well.